There was more happiness in, in the process, in the build. I'm going to tell you what's true and not true. Okay. That story mm -hmm. isn't true. I didn't invent the culture, mm -hmm. but I didn't try to stop the culture. What was the culture? Can you explain the culture to us? The culture was what it was. Give me three days. Let me call some people. Let me call my family. Let me call my mother and tell them what I'm going to do. And I'll be right there. I'll be the first man in the door. There are people in this story, let me say this, that um, they're good people. I mean, you talked a bit about the culture. I'd like you to walk me through it. How did it work? <laughs> oh, we need a long time. <laughs> How did it all work? I, I viewed it as very simple. It's just, yeah, it's just a yeah. question of scheduling. Scheduling. I know okay. that sounds weird, but... Mm -hmm. That's going to be hard for people to believe. The important thing is that I'm beginning to understand that. And, uh, and I'm understanding it, not because I see clips and we're talking about this, mm -hmm. but I see the anger in people. Mm -hmm. But she's a tough lady. Mm -hmm. She's gotten through every other tough moment in her life. I mean, she was... Uh, she's a smart lady. She's a, extremely spiritual. Uh, she believes in honesty and integrity and the truth. Mm -hmm. She believes that the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. We believe differently on a lot of things. She may come at it from a religious standpoint, where I may not. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. We have three kids together. They've been hurt too badly. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and I clarified some. I, I did call her crazy. Mm -hmm. You did? I did. I did. I think she'd be okay with me saying this, but I, I'm going to take the liberty to say it. And I said, listen, I, I called you crazy. I called you a bitch. I called you all these things. But I never called you fat. Because that's one of the things she, she said. She thought I said you were fat, crazy, bitch. And I said, bitch, I, I never said you were fat. That was the tipping point. Yeah. I just assumed the stories would continue for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I think I deserve it. I, uh, maybe not right now, but if, if you look at the situation, if you look at the culture, but that was my view and I made those decisions. I think, I think just, um, again, just trying to perpetuate the story. It feels like <clears throat> self-prophecy almost. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a process. And I think, you know, <clears throat> we're at the beginning of the process right now. And you know what's scary is I actually thought it was a good idea. I had expected, I don't know, I guess you always expect something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what's out there. And again, I go to this thing. I do not know the outcome here. Um, and I, I'm getting comfortable with that. That would have driven me crazy. In the past. Um, but I, and of course, hindsight is perfect. I, I, I know it a thousand times more now. Yeah. Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter. Then the feedback comes. Mm -hmm. Fame just magnifies whoever you really are. Mm -hmm. So if you're a jerk, you're a bigger jerk. Mm -hmm. If you're humanitarian, you're a bigger humanitarian. Uh, but I can't lose my way again. And um, only I can control that. And I mean, I had it. And then it just, 
Things got too big. Things got too crazy. So. <clears throat> Everybody out. I don't like thinking about it. Epic challenge. It's an epic story. What's the moral to the story? It's a it, pretty big story. Um, I am only starting 